Hello, my name is Carolyn. This is my daughter, Brianna. I've struggled with addiction most of my adult life. In 2012, I got released from state prison to find out that my, three, my then three-year-old daughter was taken from her dad from Child Protective Services. The feeling I had inside of me when whoever had took me, the Child Protection Services worker, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know where I was going. I was expecting to be home within a few hours. Like, I wasn't expecting to be completely gone. I just, I felt this, like, lonely feeling. And I know I was young, but I still, I can still feel it to this day. They gave me an extensive uh, program to run in order to get my custody rights back. Me knowing that I was about to lose my child to a drug that was absolutely destroying my life. It had me in a bad mental state of mind. I struggled very hard. I kept giving dirty tests and I was on my last try. They gave me six more months before I lost custody and all parental rights. I cried out to God. I couldn't do this on my own. A family member invited me to the Wayworld Outreach. I came to the services. I signed up for every discipleship class they offered. My turning point was um, in one of the discipleship classes, they had idol crushing, and everybody brought in whatever was uh, holding them in bondage. And for me, I brought in paraphernalia, alcohol bottles, and that's where I visualized a break and a release from that addiction. I completed all discipleship classes, I completed Cedar House, and I discharged parole. I got involved with prison ministry as well, and that is where I felt my calling was. I've gone into the juvenile halls and shared my testimony. I've also gone to Africa into some prisons and shared my testimony there. And so many people could relate because I've struggled with all of it, with mental illness, uh, suicidal thoughts, suicide attempts, and the addiction and prison. So. People could relate to that because I've been there and I've walked that walk. But I'm here to say that it's possible to live a productive, sober life and, and just be a parent to your child. There are certain days where I don't understand and I don't understand why everything happened the way it happened. But there's also certain days I understand that my mom's addiction was something that she could not control at the time. It was very hard for her and all her stories made me who I am today. It's like being able to know that I could do a lot of things considering what my mom went through. And if you see her today, you wouldn't think she went through half of what she went through. There's no way at all I could have gotten sober and beaten this addiction. Had I had the power to do it on my own, I would have done it 30 years ago and not put all my family through all the heartache. But because of God and because I surrendered, when I surrendered and submitted everything, I was awarded sole custody of my daughter and he just restored everything and more than I can ever imagine or dream. As my mom was saying about how she couldn't have done it without God, I realized that like throughout all of our years of church, I realized that my mom really did need God, and that's what's pulled me closer to Him, is the fact that He did it for my mom. I know He could do it for a lot of people. Anybody who's struggling with addiction, I want to encourage you that recovery is possible with God. Today we're living our best life, sold out for Jesus.